What kind of statement did you make in this game? I mean, this was just another game for us, man. Was it the revenge game or anything like that? No, this is 2023. Um, hostile environment, big game for us, week 13. That's how we looked at it. So, How much unfinished business does this Niners team have? Yeah, I mean, that's how we're looking at it. You know, we still have to win out this rest of the season, one game at a time, not getting caught up in the future and where we're going to play in the playoffs and all that stuff. It's just one week at a time. That's where we're at. Good luck the rest of the way. So, thank you. Go Niners. All right, Brock Purdy, uh, economical with his words. We, we will expand on it a little bit, Coach. To the victor go the spoils in the first question, question. Debo Samuel, I mentioned it. Seven times they got him the ball. That's four targets as a receiver. He caught all four passes, 116 yards, two touchdowns. Three carries, one of them was a 14-yard touchdown. The three-game San Francisco loss for the three that he was injured. Why is he so important to this team that has so many weapons on offense? Well, when you think about it, they have a lot of weapons, but it runs through, it, it runs through really three guys. Debo, mm -hmm. McCaffrey, Kittle. And Ayuk is, is kind of another guy that's a yeah. part of it. But those are, the, those are the big three in the beginning, right? And, and you think about it, he's an explosive player. And the way they get him the ball, it's not always running down the field. Reverses, bubble screens, in motion. This offense is really it, – it, it mirrors it – mirrors, watch what I'm getting ready to say – the Miami Dolphins offense. Mm -hmm. The only thing different in their offense, they have a tight end in Kittle. Miami doesn't have a tight end. <laughs> yeah. But it's the same concept. Running backs, tight ends, wide receivers, running backs that can play in the backfield, running backs that you run in motion. Yeah. It's all the same. Well, and Miami has the speed advantage, but remember Mike McDaniel is a Kyle Shanahan disciple, so yes. he leaves the offensive coordinator position. The Yale-educated McDaniel takes that brain power to Miami, institutes the offense there. Heck, they could be on a Super Bowl collision course. Philly has something to say about that. They're still ahead of San Francisco on the ladder. Coach, 19 points today for the Eagles, 333 yards. They were outgained handily. Watching this game, where does your biggest concern lie with Philadelphia in this one? Well, it showed up again. Uh, linebackers in coverage and safeties in coverage. And that's who they attacked. Now, they threw it all over the place. But yeah. for the most part, it went inside the numbers. And this is the people they were attacking. They were attacking the linebackers in coverage and safeties in coverage. And, and that has kind of been the problem the whole year, along with the red zone. Mm -hmm. At times, they don't defend well in the red zone. I said it earlier. Twice. The Eagles go down in the red zone. They don't score. The 49ers did a great job of holding them to the field goals. 49ers go down there twice the first two times and score. Touchdown, touchdown. Yeah. And for the Eagles, they've been now at a rest disadvantage in the last three games. And, and they had won the previous two, came back, had that magnificently exciting win over Buffalo last week, had the rest disadvantage here. They're going to have the rest disadvantage also against the Cowboys. And Monday nighter, 12th man, Seattle. 